What's up everybody, Big Sky Bowler coming back to you again from Town & Country Lanes and welcome back to the channel. So today I've got another bar review for you. We're going to be taking a look at the Big Bro Assemble. Now this ball is not yet available. It's coming out very soon though on the 15th of September. So I definitely want to show you guys what this ball can do. Now this particular ball in 15 pounds is 2.506 RG, 052 differential and 017 intermediate differential. It is a solid cover stock and it's another great release in our big bro line of balls. I throw 14 pounds so the RG is going to be slightly higher with the differential and the intermediate being roughly the same. So the RG on my equipment is 2.528. It just gets it a little bit further down the lane, helps me kind of shape the ball because I am a two-hander. I have, of course, a release that has very low tilt so I have to battle getting the ball through the front part of the lane. All right, and here she is, the Big Bro Assemble. Now, you can see that this ball is a little shiny, at least right now. It's because I brought the surface up. I did a short on my channel, actually, just yesterday, where I threw this ball at its out-of-box 2,500 grit surface, and it was very strong on Town & Country's house shot. So for the sake of the ball review, I brought the surface up because I want to show you what this ball is capable of as a solid cover stock ball. And with the house shot out here being burnt up from yesterday, you know, it's not really going to do the ball very good justice having it at a 2,500 surface when there's not a lot of oil left out there. All right, so as always in these reviews, we're going to start with more of an outside shot. So for me, that's 25, looking 8 to 10 at the break point, 14 to 15 at the aerials, and make it 13 to 14. Of course, I'm going to flatten my release a bit here. A little bit of a double dribble. There you go. So you can see with that little bit of shinier surface, the ball is getting through the front in the middle part of the lane pretty cleanly. It's uh, retaining quite a bit of re uh, energy for the back part of the lane. Now, I just did a bar review on the Blizzard Glacier and throwing that outside shot with the lanes how they are right now isn't really a good idea, but you can kind of see if there was some volume out there, that ball picks up a very decent roll and it would hold its line to the pocket. I'm gonna move left, five boards. So we're standing 30 now, same area at the break point. And we're looking closer to 15 at the arrows now. Oh yeah, there we go. So I did get that a little bit to the right. That was 14 at the arrows instead of 15. It bit hard on the friction, went through the face, almost left me a 4.710. I'm gonna try that shot again, be a little bit more accurate this time. Move my eyes left, looking 16 now. Much better. Oh yeah, there we go. You can see really good reaction, pocket nine pin. That's not a bad shape for a solid ball, especially on a burned up house shot. I'm gonna try that shot one more time. I'm gonna back up a bit, throw it a little faster. Now, I am a little bit of bias with this ball because I really like the two colors, blue and black, especially when they're in a combination on a ball. So this ball, I really, really like. And actually, it's one of the reasons I have the jersey on that I have on right now, because it kind of matches the ball. What can I say? I'm a big fan of blue. All right, same line. All we've done is back up a bit here. Much better. Right over 10, right through the pins, split the eight and the nine. So because this is a solid cover stock, it's obviously going to read the lanes quite a bit earlier than the Blizzard Glacier. The Blizzard Glacier is a pearl and it's got a sheen cover on it. I'm going to throw that last shot again. And because of that, of course, it's going to pick up an earlier roll. So you won't see nearly as much energy retention at the break point as you saw with that Glacier. Pretty good. 11. Oh yeah, there we go. So just a touch more rotation. I was a 10 and a half, 11 at the break point. Threw the pins really well, nine pin reaction. All right, so that's enough for me to go ahead and move left. So I'm gonna move five boards left again. And I'm gonna go back to my normal ball speed. Same break point area. Looking 18 now at the arrows. Pretty good. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. I did miss it a touch at the bottom, but I had just enough of it. I hit nine and a half, ten, 
threw the pins really well, split the eight and the nine. All right. I promise I'll make a better shot this time. There we go. Okay, so faster ball speed, pretty good shot that time, a little bit of deflection. But again, you know, I'm 35, close to fourth arrow with my target. It's a solid ball, so that doesn't necessarily surprise me. Solid balls, as you start moving to the inside part of the lane, really start to lose their ability to shape just because they're creating that early hook. So we're gonna play with that a little bit. I'm gonna move to the right. I'm gonna back up even farther. So I'm gonna come all the way back to 25 with my feet, eight to 10 at the break point. I'm gonna really try to come up the back of the ball as much as I can here. Looking 13, a lot of ball speed here. See if we can make it hold to the pocket. Oh, that's way left. If we get it to the right though, it might sit there. So we'll try it again. My push away was a little late on that one. Should have been a little bit sooner. All right, so again, we are standing 25. Target at the arrows, 13, out to eight or 10 two board zone. That's better. Oh, it was close. So I got to 10 that time and it bit hard and went left. We'll try it again. Maybe look a little bit further to the right with the eyes. Get it to the right of 10. It tried to hang on. Change your angle just a bit here. So still standing 25. 13 was the last shot. We're gonna look 12 this time. That'll push our break point to the right, so long as I'm accurate. A little bit of loft. There we go, that's what it needed. So as you can see, this ball definitely has that ability to stay on the outside part of the lane. Burnt up house shot though, keep that in mind. I had to loft it. Got it to 12, got it out to about that seven, eight board area. And it held to the pocket and went through it really, really well. So on volume, I'm expecting this ball to be really, really good at controlling the pocket on a sport condition. More than likely, if I'm throwing this on a sport shot, I'm not gonna leave it at its box condition. Yesterday on the house shot, it definitely was pretty strong at 2,500 grit, but my solids, I usually like to keep closer to that 1,000 grit range, especially on sport oil because they need that extra friction to control that pocket and make that ball slow down in the oil. Again, this ball's coming out here very soon on September 15th, and you can get yours at www.swagbowling.com. Thanks for watching the video today. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.